Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to get the message for tonight. See what the collective is talking about. All of my information will be in the description box below. All of these readings are timeless. So anytime you come to my channel, you click on a video, it resonates for you, and then it was time for you to receive that message. The messages can be past, present, and future energies. So you have to take it how it resonates. Love energy donations are always appreciated. By coming through, like, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing with family and friends, co-workers, etc., etc. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. If you would like a private reading, I can be reached at Twin Flames with a Z, 144, at gmail.com. Anyone that would like to make a donation to my channel, I would love it if you did so. I can receive donations through Cash App. My Cash App handle is Dollar Mark Lovely Sixty Five. I curse in my videos. If you don't like that and it offends you, please click off. I was gifted the divination of tarot through the divine, so if you do not like the way I read my tarot cards, please click off. So whatever hits my deck on my board is what we're going to read for the messages tonight. I hope everyone is doing well. Hope you had a great day. For some of you that are still looking for employment, don't give up hope. It's coming. And some of the reasons Mainly the reason why all of these messages will or will not resonate for everyone is because we're at various different stages in our journey in life. Hope somebody had something to be grateful for today. If you don't, think about it. Hope you did your meditations. Also, your affirmations, you're getting plenty of rest, exercise, you're eating healthy, and you're most definitely staying hydrated. Okay, so let's cut the cards and see what we got. Oh, also, I don't do reversals. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is also my Twin Flames card. <clears throat> also, I want to take the time to thank everyone who has come by and supported me and showed me love. And who did subscribe to my channel. This is not an easy undertaking for anyone. So the first card out we have is the Nine of Wands. Somebody is in their head. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. 
someone's having a hard time maybe reconciling with some things that they have done or they are experiencing at the present moment. And it is regarding love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it could possibly be a Cancer or a Scorpio. Or hmm, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It can be one of those energies. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But someone is in your head trying to reconcile about some things that took place or are taking place in a love relationship. The next card out is the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So someone wants victory in a situation regarding love. presently at the moment they are feeling in the what it says the five of swords energy they're feeling defeated gemini libra aquarius energy someone wants victory but it's going to be a hollow one because the underneath the underlying feeling is defeat the next card out is the world card so this is a karmic cycle that is coming to an end. This was something that was destined and fated to happen. The next card that came out is the Seven of Pentacles. So someone is experiencing delays in love. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So someone could possibly be experiencing setbacks or delays in love and finance. Six of Pentacles. So someone feels victory over an unequal balance of give and take. There's no victory there. That's somebody's ego. That's a hollow victory, as I said before, because you ultimately felt defeated. Next card out. Told you. Five of Cups. We have two fives on the board. This is change. The more fives that show up, the higher the message becomes, the more loud it, it's being amplified. So fives represent change. So something needs to change in the situation. But in the meantime, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, someone is feeling regret, sorrow, loss, pain. They're very unhappy. They're very hurt. All three cups have spilled out, but they're so focused on the love that was lost that they can't see that there's still two cups remaining in behind. The next card out is the tower. So this is definitely a very karmic and very faded event. We have the moon card at the bottom of the deck presently, and that's Pisces or Cancer energy. I say Cancer because Cancer rules the moon. So, there was a change, there was a shakeup in a situation. This is Aries Scorpio energy, which uh, blew two people out of the tower. So, um, whatever this love situation is going on, um, there's time for a change. And the wheels of karma are spinning. The wheels of karma are spinning. It's time for this either to be resolved or resolved or removed. Looks like it's being removed. Next two cards out are the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have three fives now on the board. So there was Competition, conflict, fighting, internally, externally. These energies have been very, very heavy. So it seems for those that are going through some major transformations and transitions in their life. And this is also signifying the reason why somebody is going through this 
is due to a third party situation. Now the page of cups to me signifies possibly a child. So maybe this child hasn't been born yet. Maybe it's seven more months to go um, before this child is born. Um, this could very well be a love child. Maybe this is why somebody is in their head. Somebody could feel victorious about it because maybe they call themselves getting back at their um, their mate, husband, or wife, long-term partner. But it brought up a lot of competition, a lot of argument, and it left somebody feeling defeated. And it caused a major blowout. Last card out is the Hermit card, which is Virgo. So after all of the conflict and fighting, because as you can see, he's actually looking at it. He's looking at the situation and he's internalizing, but he's uh, someone is detached and went within to seek answers. And at the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have the hangman. This is Pisces energy. So someone is not taking any action, and this is double verification, because the hermit, he goes within to seek answers, and the hangman, he suspends himself. He's not done. He's just thinking, but he's not taking any action. As you can see, he's just hanging around. Somebody went through something that was meant to happen. This is a lesson. This is an absolute lesson. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone um, had to cut a situation out. Possibly a third party situation. next two cards that came out is the Emperor and the High Priestess. So someone is being intuitively guided or someone is using their intuition to take control in a love situation. The Emperor is Aries and this could be Aries or Taurus. This um, King of Swords could possibly have well, he's definitely an air sign. Um, fire in his chart and water somewhere prominently in his chart. Because the King of Swords, he's also someone that's analytical. Um, he's more logical than he is emotional. And he's clearly in his head about a situation. It could involve an emperor. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman operating in her masculine energies and the same thing for the king of swords because this can also be a same sex situation but this uh, king of swords is ready to cut out a situation you can see he has the sword now and he's got to take control of it yeah like I said that's a hollow victory because he's trapped in his head and he intuitively knows that he has to take control of this situation. It's gotten way out of hand. And that's more Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I'm not going to make this video long. I'm trying to get through it as quickly as possible for you guys. Next two cards that came out is the Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and Temperance, Archangel Michael, or Sagittarius. So... Someone felt defeated in their choice or a decision that they had to make that they didn't make. And it ultimately caused defeat. The divine angel is here. And it could have been with the Sagittarius. But um, Archangel Michael is here to help balance and give you patience and temperance over this situation. Because this was going to take place. This was part of a lesson that someone needed to learn. 
and there's swift communication that's coming in and it's coming in on the wheel of fortune so that's destined and fated to happen and it could be swift harsh communication too so ground yourself that's why archangel michael is here to help you temper and balance your words as well the next card is the three of swords so someone might be trying to delay a heartbreak that they know is imminent to come because of an unequal balance of give and take in a situation that's gemini libra aquarius energy And at the bottom of the deck, we currently have the star card. So there is either a wish or someone is healing. This is Aquarius energy. The next two cards that came out as the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy and the king of wands. So someone was being um, reckless about the choice that they made. They were very reckless. They didn't uh, take any regard for someone else's feelings. That's why it was so unequal. And at the bottom of the, car, uh, the deck, we now have justice. So there is definitely some karmic justice that's coming to someone or someones involving a situation that ultimately caused heart, heartbreak. Yeah, here we go. We now have two threes on the board. Third party situation. That's why somebody is so hurt and Feeling so much regret and loss. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Next card fell out is the Eight of Cups. So someone went through a massive change due to the fact that you're being guided away from a situation. Um, I call the Eight of Cups my spiritual awakening card. So someone is leaving to start their spiritual path. They're being awakened. They're being guided. This is a part of the lesson. And it's all to help you love yourself. So don't take it offensively. And don't be too harsh and critical towards all of the people that were involved. Because they were all there to assist you. To help you learn this lesson. Yes, we have the star card. It showed it at the bottom. It showed back up again. So someone might be wishing that this baby is not theirs. That's what I'm strongly getting. I'm not even getting nothing else. And that's a specific message for someone. Next two cards that came out as the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Seven of Wands. More fire energy on top of fire energy. So this was a highly volatile situation. Someone was using their wand just a little too much. And it caused a lot of fighting internally and externally. This could went. This could have also went into physical altercations with parties involved. And we have all the signs on the board, so it could be anybody at this point. If this is your story, you'll know if it is, if it resonates or not. Please leave some comments in the bottom of the description boxes below. We have the Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords could very well have um, Virgo in her chart prominently. Or she could either, um, or they he could either have um, air in their chart. Because this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius action. So someone is now in their logical state of mind as well, like the husband. Um, but they want fairness, they want truth and honesty, but from the direction that they're looking, it doesn't seem like they're going to get it because there's no one there. So basically, you're going to have to give it to yourself. So it's kind of almost like closure. Let's get one more card on the situation. Death. Scorpio. Transformation. So someone is going through a death and a rebirth. In a situation guys I hope this me this message me <laughs> this message resonated for someone please like comment subscribe and share with your friends and also at the bottom of the deck um, that's because somebody had too many options Pisces cancer Scorpio energy guys you take care blessings